the word says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. It begins with, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. We heard, we hear in these days that there, are, there is a lot of noise being made. Yeah. The devil is showing up on every block, every corner, in every circumstance, in every condition. And he's making a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. He showed up in Colorado a few weeks ago. Come on, Bishop. And he made some noise. We were in D.C., watching D.C. area this past week, and they arrested a gentleman that had a whole stash of weapons. He had about 30 assault rifles. Mm. Cases of <coughs> ammunition. But they caught him just before <laughs> yes. he had an opportunity to use it. And his plan was to kill his friends, his neighbor, everybody that he could possibly get a hold of and use those weapons on. He was going to kill them. Mm. But somebody spoke up. Somebody gave a anonymous tip. And they arrested that joker. One of the young ladies from our church in the D.C. area lived next door to the children that he caught. Yeah. So I, I want to know why is the devil making so much noise? Come on, Bishop. <laughs> and we get back and we say, oh, we're living in an evil time. Mm. People just do anything. People don't care what they say. They don't care how they say it. They'll curse you out. They'll do anything to you. You just got to be so careful. You can't hardly speak to people anymore. They want to kill you. And we, we wonder why these things are happening. Yeah. But what if yes. we would defer yes. all of the prayers that God has answered? That's right. What if we, we, would, we would just say how good the Lord has been to us? What if we would just tell somebody, no matter where we are, that the Lord Come on, sir. 